Welcome to today's edition of the show podcast. In this scenario, it was a challenge for her to try to find the purity of the formula by being honest with her ancestors. More than as an actress or singer, Selena Gomez's role as an orchestral maestro should be pointed out when it came to putting together an EP with which to respond to fans, expand her career, define her identity and succeed. The treasure hunt for a good Latin album must have been exhausting, so it is not surprising that, just after finishing it, the artist is already talking about giving up. Selena Gomez's road has been far from easy, despite the apparent success of being a Disney girl. Expectations and marketing meet hordes of fans and she tragically ended the escalation with a drinking problem. After that she was in trouble for the cancellation of the 2016 tour and because she perceived more criticism than praise from her fans. In that incredible uphill, the artist had to take some air and look for her differential spot. Her involvement in Democrat politics has not gone unnoticed, nor have her campaigns in support of the Latino vote. Among her missions, lupus and chemotherapy, she was also investigating her genealogy and therefore decided to set off in search of an album of pure Latin, regadian sounds and erotic nooks and crannies. Revelation is an EP of seven songs cooked over a very slow fire with great Latin collaborations such as Puerto Rican's Mike Taos and Ra Alejandro, as well as the song already released with DJ Snake, with whom a few months ago she made a single with Ozuna and Cardi B. Selena herself has stated, I was feeling very inspired and I felt in my heart that it was the right time to do it. I have amazing fans in Latin America and this is a way to thank them for all their support and love. The album also includes the reggaetoner-inspired tracks Buscando Amor, Vicio and Melo Too, for which the artist has a lot to thank her composer and the team she has been accompanied by, such as the aforementioned Ra Alejandro. Also from Erica Hernandez and Camila Falvez capturing the Mexican identity in the visuals, with all those powerful colors sometimes from the world of flamenco. It is evident in the album his step through pop, so that despite the auto-tune and the clear erotic evocation the album plays only at medium intensity with reggaeton trying to show its own nuances.